In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my five favorite free plugins for WordPress. Uh, these are plugins that I use on pretty much every website that I create with WordPress, um, and I think you're going to like them. So let's take a look. Hello, Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Um, I'm now struggling to get videos out every week because it's the school holidays here in the UK. So there's kids about, but luckily they've just gone out for an hour or so. So I thought I'd quickly put together a video. And as I said, this video is all about my favorite plugins, five of them to be specific. I do have more than that in terms of the plugins that I use, but I thought I'd start with five and then maybe there'll be more videos in the future, uh, which include more of the plugins that I use. But hey, I'm rambling. Let's get started and take a look at these plugins. So number one is WordFence. Uh, it's not a particularly exciting plugin, but it does a very important job, and that is keeping your WordPress website secure. It basically creates like a little firewall around your site, so it stops people trying to hack in, um, do brute force attacks, and, and denial of service, and all that kind of horrible stuff that can happen if you've got a WordPress website. It's pretty easy to install. Uh, just go over to um, Add New on your plugins uh, within WordPress and do a search for WordFence, and install it, and then you do a quick bit of config, and then you're all protected from those bad guys that are gonna try and hack into your website. So highly recommended, in fact, essential I'd say, if you wanna keep your site nice and secure. The second plugin is called Shareaholic. This is a new entry. I've not mentioned this plugin before in any of my previous uh, videos. It's a basically a social sharing uh, plugin. It adds social sharing buttons to your pages or your posts, or wherever you like, so people can easily then share on Facebook, Twitter, uh, wherever they like, and wherever you like, you can configure which buttons show um, to your own needs. So it's a great way of obviously encouraging people to share. These are pretty much essential now on most websites, you'll find social sharing buttons. So if you want some on your WordPress website, go and check out Shareaholic. Again, you'll find it uh, in the WordPress plugins area. Just go to add new, do a search for Shareaholic. My third plugin is a re-entry. It's Yoast SEO. It's a plugin that I talk about quite a lot in other videos. It's your all-in-one go-to SEO plugin. It takes care of your page titles. It does your XML sitemaps, which are really important because you then submit them up to Google. Be sure to check out the channel for videos on how to do all this stuff. But yeah, Yoast is my go-to SEO plugin. It's still good. It's been around for a long time and it's still good. It gets updated regularly. And it just makes doing the on-site SEO stuff uh, really easy and, and really straightforward. So highly recommended. The free version is normally uh, all you need. Uh, but they do offer a premium version if you fancy it. Okay, my fourth plugin sort of piggybacks on the back of Yoast SEO. You are going to need Yoast SEO um, for this plugin to work. But basically what this one does, it's called WP HTML Sitemap Search Engine thing. I can't actually remember the exact name because it's not particularly easy to remember. I'll put it up on the screen. You'll be able to see what it's called. Um, but this uh, plugin is really useful because it takes your Yoast XML sitemap that I just mentioned, the one that you're going to submit to Google, and it turns it into a HTML page that then you can put on your website, uh, have a little page called sitemap, and then it makes it really easy to show off all the pages, products, posts, whatever you've got on your site. A sitemap is uh, something that you should have on your website. You'll find that most websites do have one. And it's great for search engines and humans, and yeah, just a good thing to have because it shows the structure of your site, as I say, really nicely and clearly. So highly recommended. Um, go and check it out, but obviously make sure you've installed Yoast first. The final one I'm going to talk about today is uh, Contact Form 7, which is your standard go-to contact form free plugin. It's a way of adding forms to your site. Now, most websites need a form uh, of some sort. It allows people to get in touch with you really easily, they just obviously fill in a form and, and then you get an email and, and go from there. So this is my favorite free form plugin. If I was gonna spend a little bit of money on a plugin for forms, I would recommend Gravity Forms. Uh, but I won't talk about that in this video because in this video we're talking about free plugins. So yeah, Contact Form 7 uh, all the way. It's really good. Um, if you haven't used it already, um, go check it out. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be doing some more videos around this kind of theme. Uh, you know, my favorite plugins and themes and all that sort of stuff. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and I'm sure you are, but if you're not, please do click on that little eagle thing there and be sure to click the little bell to be notified when I do upload uh, videos in the future. But for now, you might want to watch a video from the past, which I did, you know, whenever, I don't know, sometime in the past. There you go. Take a look. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, bye for now.